Hey, Captain Ross Robertson here. You know, our electronic units have come a long way in a short amount of time, kind of like our cell phones. You know, just a few years ago, it seems like, and really was, we used flip phones and we got two, three days out of them if you were lucky. Now we get a couple hours, it seems like, with our smartphones. And the same is kind of true with our electronic units in the boat. I'm running Hummingbird Mega Imaging and that stuff, it pulls more power to get all those awesome pictures and those great displays and deep marking. You really have to have a little more power sent out to it. So there's a few things that I do to accommodate that and make sure I don't get myself in a pickle. First is just simply having an extra battery. While that may be overkill for some people, I run a 31 series dual purpose battery, so I actually have two on a battery switch, and that's gonna allow me to run my multiple units and everything else in the boat without any issues. You don't wanna kill your main motor and not be able to get home because you're running your electronics too much. And the second is just to monitor those things throughout the day. Put a little voltage overlay right on your screen. You can do that on a hummingbird screen on the overlay. It's very simple. And monitor that. As you start to go down through the day, keep an eye on it. You'll know if there's not a problem if you can eliminate it. And the, the third thing is making sure that you have large wire on your unit. If you have to extend out past the, the hummingbird actual factory cord, Make sure that you, you run a minimum of 12 gauge tin copper wire. And if you're running longer distances, you know, let's say six, eight feet, 10 feet, you're gonna maybe even have to use larger if your distribution panel or your battery is farther. You don't wanna have that ampage drop. But really the coolest and the best trick that I kinda overlooked here in the last year or so, but I found is on my Hummingbird, when you hit the start screen, you can actually go faster jump and they know I wanna get out there. but. You, you can have a sleep mode right on there, it's like standby. And now different units may have different things, but I know on the Hummingbird we have that standby mode. And that's gonna allow you to actually, kind of basically just like your computer, you can put it in sleep mode, so you don't have to take the time to have it boot back up. But if you're going to the front of the boat, or maybe you're, you're getting things ready in the morning, you're not gonna be pulling as much power, but you don't have to wait all that time. So make sure you sleep, standby, whatever you wanna call, when you're not using that unit, but you don't want for it to boot up, wait all that time. Cause we got fish to catch. I hear them jumping right now.